Well, I chose to, to help out with the Home Foundation because they needed me. Um, there are lots of good causes out there. And in fact, as a comedian, uh, you're approached two, maybe three times a month to, to, to do free charity shows or deeply discounted charity shows. And you can't do them all. You can't, you have to choose. And so you're forced to compare between all these uh, charities. And what I found that the Home Foundation needs me. Lots of these good causes out there have plenty of help, plenty of hands on deck. We all, we all agree that breast cancer is something we should fight, but there's a race somewhere every weekend, a bake sale, the entire NFL wears pink to make us aware of this problem. I can't really add to the visibility. I can't, what can I really, what difference can I really make? But when the Home Foundation approached me and showed me what the problem was, that there are these poor older people that can't afford these basic health care needs, and that they're, they're being neglected, forgotten. Uh, I, I, I looked, there's no, no one else is addressing this. There's a hole in our social safety net and these people have fallen through that hole and they don't have the wherewithal mentally or the physical health or the financial power to advocate for themselves. They need an advocate, they don't have one. This problem, like the people, is neglected, forgotten, it's like invisible. And so it needs, it needs to be seen and, and it needs to be addressed. Not only the hole in the safety net, there's a lot of people say, well, the government should take care of that. Well, you're gonna be waiting a long time uh, for that hole to get fixed because no one's even letting them know it's there. So the Home Foundation is taking care of the, the people who need the, the help and uh, maybe it can also give visibility to the fact that there's a problem in this, the healthcare system that, that the older people are, are going without going without health care. So they need me. The reason I do comedy shows is because I think it's the best way I can help. It's the way that I can give the most to, to the cause. Normally when I'm doing stand-up comedy, it's in a nightclub or a bar, and it's, uh, it's fun, it's kind of a party atmosphere, but it's um, the, the kind of atmosphere that happens when you're doing comedy for a cause. It's a whole different atmosphere, and it, it just feels good. It feels good to help in, in a different way. Not in a fun way, but more in a, in a, there's a joy factor to it. And also I think uh, when we laugh, when we come together as a group, the audience has this generosity to them that a regular nightclub wouldn't have. And um, when we come together as a group and we know we're dealing with this kind of a dark issue, really, we're talking about the darkest thing, death. But when you laugh at these things, when you laugh about or with or around them, I think you transcend it. I think comedy is a perfect way to, uh, I, I think we recapture our dignity when we laugh in the face of these problems. And it, uh, it's, I guess it's the best way I could, could think that I could help. And they wanted me to, and I'm glad to do it. It feels good to do it. There are other organizations, there are, that are helping the elderly, low-income people with their needs. But the Home Foundation uh, are embedded within the industry, within the service industry. I mean, I think more than any other uh, foundation, they have an, an intimate knowledge of the problem and the needs of these, these people. So they, they know the problem int intimately and they know how to address it correctly and intimately. Plus they have all the infrastructure, everything's in place to deliver the help. It's all there, it's just waiting for hands, for people to help. We just need hands on deck, that's it. We need more attention and hands on deck. We just, we need people's help.